Hey guys, Katrina here in the Zeppelin. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today is the day I go and pick up my new wheelchair. I've got an appointment at half past two. But first of all, I realised that I said I've been doing the uh, EDSUK Great British Bacon for this year on this channel. Mm -hmm. I honestly totally forgot. I've been that busy, really. Um, I feel like an idiot, but I might make a cake or something for the Jubilee coming up and move the 4th of well, next month. So I'll keep that in mind for them. Also, I'm getting my new car in a couple of weeks. Apparently it's arrived in the country and it's just to be sent to the uh, adoption place, uh, Macamilles, to get my hand controls installed on it. Uh, we're just waiting on paperwork from uh, the government contractor that does the mobility scheme in Northern Ireland and it takes a while unfortunately. The car is a real beast. It's nice like it's but it has a kind of mean face on it. If you're in the cars like you will know what I mean but I'm really looking forward to getting it because I, I can't wait to get rid of this small one. Really, I've been counting the days until today to get my a new chair because this one that I have here beside me is beginning to show its age and it actually broke again last week and I've been stuck in the house all week. The the guy did come out and repair it but he said it's a bit fit for the, the scrap heap to be honest and he managed to keep it uh, held together with a bolt to replace one that snapped which is apparently a uh, common thing with this Kushal K series, uh, the first generation, although the next one is also Kushal K series apparently that's been redesigned and not have that same problem. I'm going to try it out for a few days first before I make any updates about that so uh, we shall see. Well here it is, it's got the covers on it but Unfortunately, it doesn't have the little red stripes on it, but you can't pick and choose. The brakes are a bit different as well. It means I won't nip my fingers on it. I uh, can't wait to get trying it out. I have to go and do a bit of food shopping now, so I'll leave it for a few days uh, before I, I finish this video. Uh, just to I get used to the chair and then I'll, I'll give you an update. Well, I've had my chair for over a week now, and here's how I like it. So the very first couple of days after I've got it, I decided to take Max out to Ormo Park for a little push, and uh, to give the chair a good run on it as well. I found it's much easier to push than the other one, because the center of gravity is lower, and they lowered the back part of the seat so that I could reach my center of my wheels and therefore have a better push. I've also found that it's easier for me to light lift into the car so I'm glad that I got it and now just get my new car. Also it has different brakes on it. The brakes that I have now are called scissor brakes and it means to sort of hide out of the way and it means that I don't wallop my, my thumb on the little post that used to stick out on the other one. I've done that a few times and it is very sore so at least I don't have that problem now. Since I've got the chair I've been rather busy. I've been running errands as usual, doing volunteer work for EDS UK and I've been to a jubilee party as well. I find that it was le I was less tired in, in this chair than I was in the, the old one. It does have black wheels though, that's the only thing. I, I kind of picked that really because it looked nicer. It doesn't have the red stripes on the frame unfortunately. That's just a cosmetic issue really. Also, it turns out I'm not getting a power pack as I said before. The OT explained that the NHS decided, in my area decided not to provide them for independent pushers because they don't have speed limiters and and, and in the UK uh, hard mobility devices are required to have speed limiters under law so I could source one privately if I bought my own chair 
but that is well out of my league of what I can afford given that the chair itself will cost over two and a half grand and then plus the cost of the power add-on which would cost another three maybe four grand I'm just grateful that we have the NHS here in the UK because there's no way I could afford that but maybe in the future maybe if I win the lotto or something <laughs> I might actually save up and buy a handbike instead maybe try that because I, I'm quite outdoorsy and I was quite outdoorsy before my disability got worse so I would like to get back to that but here's hoping anyway thank you for watching if you like this video please like comment and subscribe by clicking below and remember to hit the notification bell as youtube does not notify you when i upload a video unless you hit the notification bell thank you for watching bye bye